All right, guys, so for those that are wanting to get into PRS-style shooting, this is very indicative of what you would see in a match. So what we're going to do is you have a lot of props. You might be shooting off the ground or something like that, but we'll just say it's a six-round stage. That's all you get is six rounds. You have 90 seconds to complete it. You typically start behind the barricade that you're starting off of. What I've called out for, and this is also going to show the importance of bags quite a bit. You can use whatever bags you like, and what you're going to do is stand behind the spool, when the buzzer goes off, you have 90 seconds to get set up on the spool, rifle on the spool in some way, shape, or form, and you have to do two rounds at 500. Hit or miss, you only get two rounds. You must clear your bolt. You're going to go on top of this tire here, and on top of this tire, as long as the rifle's on top of the tire, you're good, 625 for two rounds. Then you're going to open your bolt, and the rifle must be on top of this wooden block here. So you have 90 seconds to complete that, which sounds like a lot of time, but when you start getting into this, that time gets sucked up very quickly. So if that's the stage brief for it, the RO will give you that stage brief. You're going to have about five minutes to kind of in your head mentally get figured what's going on. So if you have a Kestrel or a Strelock, you need to go ahead and figure out your dope, put it on your dope card. I know you guys know this, but those that are new to the channel, dope is data of previous engagement or data on previous engagement. It's data that you've collected prior to shooting this to get you pretty close to where you need to hit. If you've done everything right, you should get three points here. It's a hit per point. And that's if you miss the first shot, you should be able to follow up with that second shot correction. So once again, 500 off the spool, 625 off the tire, 700 off of the wooden block. So you don't want to give up points. Points are hard to come by, especially with wind and everything else. You also want to, in your mind, get an idea of what bag placement you need. What's going to help you build that position? Now, PRS is a little different than three gun. Three gun, they'll let you, you know, all right, well, I'm going to be here. I'm going to do this. They don't always let you do that. So here, if I'm going to be shooting off this table, I might want to figure out if I want to go to a high or reverse knee. Sorry about the noise. It is a gun range. Uh, but then you want to figure out what kind of bag you have or need. Same thing here. Do you want something on that arca rail? Same thing up there. So that's what we're gonna do, 90 seconds stage. So we've got Matt on the 6.5, Rick on the 6 Creedmoor, and me on the 6 Arc. Stay tuned. So what I do is I use this time to go ahead and get me a rudimentary dope table or drop cheat, okay? And so this will attach to the rifle. Unfortunately, I don't have a dope card holder. Uh, not on this rifle, like I said, this is the brand new one. So what I'll do is I'll just have to remember it I'll just go into the data here. I've already spun up the environmentals. And at 500, I should be pretty darn close based on this. My 500 is going to be 2.36. 2.36. Of course, you're not going to be able to see that. 2.36. I'm going to have to figure out the wind holds, but then I've got 625, which is 3.48. Just call it 3.5. And then 700 yards is going to be 4.2. See what happens. All right, guys. So I get a lot of questions about bags. And when I first started this, Matt and I actually shot the Nordic Long Range Championships. It was, how many years ago was that, Matt? About four years ago? About four years ago. And there were guys that were actually pulling up to the line with wheelbarrows full of bags like this. Some of these are really light. Some of these are really heavy. Some of them are extremely heavy, five pounds or so. So when I first did that match, I had, actually I had this bag right here. I've had this bag that long. This is a tab gear. It's worked well for me. I've shot in a lot of competitions with it. I've won a lot of competitions. This goes with me everywhere. It's kind of heavy, but it's just one. These sand sock gears are really light. They weigh nothing, really lightweight fill. It's hard to find them in stock, but you're going to find a lot of stuff from Area 419, especially if you're in long range or PRS style shooting, because you're going to want this stuff. This stuff makes a huge difference. I've already tested it. With and without bags, you will not make the amount of hits that you will with the bags and getting configured with it. It is kind of like cheating, but it is part of the game, and you have to utilize the equipment to the best of your ability. So you're going to see a couple of different options here on how people do it. I'm highly going to recommend an Arca Swiss attachment on the bottom of your rifle, whether it's integrated rail or one that you buy aftermarket. It does make a huge difference on being able to configure this gear where you need it to get it balanced. Do you have to have it? No, you can do it without a bag, but if you want to be competitive, you're going to have to have an assortment of bags. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started. This is one by Coltac. Big shout out to those guys. These are all by Area 419. Great group of guys. Uh, go check them out, and let's get this thing underway. So Matt, what is your thought process? What are you thinking is going to help for bags? 
Definitely going to go with a larger pump pillow. I see some of these stages. Looks like I'm going to be unsupported in the rear. Okay. Probably some kind of game changer on the 700-yard stage. Probably run the game changer 625 and 700, and then run bipod for 500 in a bag. Gotcha. All right, let's see what he comes up with. First thing, put your dope in for the first target. All right, guys, so we have 90 seconds on the clock. He's getting everything staged up. He's got, he's got to start with everything in his hands. You good to go? No. <laughs> guys, you feel you hear how he's getting rushed? That's what's going to happen at a match. You've got to have everything together. It's not a lot of time if you're the first shooter to get all your dope together, to get your mindset right, to be able to get into these positions, how you're going to transition and do it efficiently. 90 seconds goes very, very fast. All right, so we've got six rounds, six targets. Typically, you wouldn't insult your, insert your magazine until the RO gives you the command. Bolt's going to be open. All right, so right now, I would say insert your magazine on an open bolt. Shooter, you understand the course fire. All right, stand by. Engage. Impact one. Impact two. Now those were at 500. Now he's moving. Impact three. You gotta move, can't re-engage. Yeah. All right, if you're finished unloading, show clear. So, guys, it doesn't matter how fast you get the stage done. He had a 68.86. It's a matter of beating that 90 second. You have all of the 90 seconds. There's no benefit, but he only had three impacts. So, technically, he would get three points for the stage. So, that's how he decided to run it. He ran it with an Area 419 uh, game changer on the bottom with a bipod, and then he had some rear bags for support. Let's go to Rick next. Something else you're going to notice in PRS style shooting is you have a lot of people that will help assist you pick up the brass because the brass is so specialized. It's usually, you know, a dollar plus a piece. Rick up next on the six Creedmoor, he's going to be running the Ace Death Pod. I think those are going to hit the market here soon, huh? Death Squad. Death Squad. All right, shooter, you understand the course of fire. Insert your magazine on an open bolt. I'm going to try this thing out. Is the shooter ready? Uh, yep. Stand by. In fact, one. In pack two. So a lot of guys will put their dope in before they move positions. That's exactly what he was doing. That's perfectly acceptable. A lot of guys will not hold. They will actually dial. 625. In pack three. Impact four. Now 
Nope, doesn't count, and it was a miss anyway. I was just going to call you so, how much time I got. So four impacts, which is a good run, but he was able to get pretty close with that second shot correction just off to the side. So that's how it runs. Let me try to do it with this six arc. Like I said, this is all first runs. This is one take on this. Let me see what I can do. All right, so what I've decided to go with is a bipod because a bipod's going to work well here. It's going to give me stability up front. I've got a Coltac with a Rail X from Area 419 because I think that's going to help getting low on the tires. I'm also going to use a rear pump pillow for the elbows. That's my game plan on it. We'll see what happens. Ready? Here to ready. Yep. Stand by. That's three. All right, so four hits, but that's what you can expect. And you're wanting a rifle that's going to stay balanced and kind of stay where you want it to go. That's how the game goes. So I would get four points. Matt, you had three. Three. And I think Rick had four. So that's how the game works. Once again, I think we're kind of beating that 6.5 Creedmoor, and he's a very competent shooter. Some stages are better than others, but that's what you can expect from a PRS match. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Enjoyed the choices on the bag selection. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Hi, this is Mini X. I've never shot the 6mm arc. I'm going to be hitting it twice at 625. Try to keep your head down on it when you cycle the bolt. Impact. Dial your 500 yard dope in before you close the bolt, and let's go ahead and just move straight to 500. Fighters ready? Just over the top. Impact. So what are your thoughts on the recoil and how this rifle feels? It's very soft. It doesn't have a lot of recoil. And I like the trigger. It's very smooth. Yeah, the trigger is actually probably a little better than the one you have in your rifle. But no, guys, that 6 arc, I continually am impressed with it. I've got to get some issues worked out with the magazine. In all fairness, uh, every once in a while, I don't know if it's the magazine. It almost feels like the cases are slightly oversized. I don't know. Sometimes it's really sticky closing it. This is factory ammunition. Hope you enjoyed that. Like, share, and subscribe.